And now, from your local election headquarters, the only locally produced political talk show discussing the issues that matter to you. This is Big Country Politics on KTAB. Thanks for being here for this week's edition of Big Country Politics. I'm Victor Sotelo. We start with what's making political headlines across the state, nation, and the big country. First news from the district, State Representative Stan Lambert opened a public forum for questions from Big Country residents this last week. Lambert represents Taylor Nolan and Jones County in the Texas Legislature. Wide range of questions and answers, housing, Medicare, workplace training and transportation. Uh, it was all at the Town Hall Communities in Action. Oh, I hope they feel like that we're here as a resource, that they can contact our office and that they can help uh, uh, explain to, to us what the issue or what the challenge is that they're facing and then we can get them connected to the right uh, resources uh, through the state. Lambert said that several of the items that were discussed in the town hall were items that he was already working on in Austin. And now to our eye on Texas, a group of around a dozen Texas gun owners want to change the gun culture in the state. They joined former Arizona Congresswoman Gabriel Giffords to launch their coalition. Texas Gun Owners for Safety Constitutional Right comes with the responsibility to support safety. The main idea this group supports is universal background checks. And for bus riders in the AISD, they will be seeing some changes this year. New technology called Smart Tag is scanning kids when they get on and off the buses so the schools can keep track of each student, their name, and a picture popping up to, for the drivers to see. Right now, the school district can only track this, but later this year, they, they will be made available to parents through a portal, and they will be able to use it as well. And as the school year has started, Abilene uh, police are stepping up traffic enforcement in school zones and reminding everyone that the use of cell phones is prohibited in school zones, no texting or talking, and drivers are required to stop at crosswalks and to let students cross. Also remember those, re those reduced speed limits and beginning at, the in at the beginning and the end of the school days. All right, still to come here on Big Country Politics, we take a look back at the legacy and the career of KTAB's Bob Bartlett. He's celebrating 40 years with us. We're back in two minutes.